I used to love lychee. So what's changed? Biff, pow, zap, clunk, clunk, ouchie. Hey guys, I was amongst the very first to sing the praises of lychee. Back then, Chitu Box was pretty much the only option and it was fairly basic. And because it's been a while, I've been thinking about doing a follow-on video. Interestingly, in the strange way that life does sometimes, Leechy contacted me the other day and asked me if I was interested in doing another. And, full disclosure, they're actually sponsoring this video. So my thanks go to Leechy for helping support this channel. Before going on, let's head off the initial hecklers by saying, I pronounce it lychee as that's how the company themselves pronounce it, so I do it to show appropriate respect. I pronounce it Chitubox because that's how it was written back then, three words. But I've contacted them since then and apparently it is Chitubox, which means fast horse toolbox or thereabouts in traditional Chinese. So I got that one wrong. Anyway, in preparation, I watched my earlier video through again, expecting to find plenty of reasons to remove and replace it. But actually, for now at least, I think it's still pretty valid and can stay. So, does that mean in the three years since I made that video that nothing has changed with Lychee? I guess we'd better take a closer look. Off the bat, there's three edition options now, free, pro and premium. And at a glance, there doesn't seem to be a great deal of difference between them. The free is still a very capable and versatile slicer, and probably the biggest change is the fact that it now supports both resin and filament printing. There are no restrictions placed on the number of printers that you can use, which is lucky for me as I have one or two. It automatically checks objects on import and fixes most issues with a simple click. A range allows you to move objects in relation to the plate surface, letting you cram as many things as you can on the build plate. Move is similar, but also allows you to move objects up and down as well. You can manually rotate the object to a desirable position, or align part of it perfectly to sit flush with the plate. You can orientate one object with another, which is particularly useful when combining objects. There's an auto orientation feature, which suggests a possible position for an object to be orientated. And believe me, in the three years that I've been using this slicer, it's come a long way. I still don't think it's perfect, but it's getting there. And if you've made a complete pig's ear of things, you can always reset and try again. Scaling is a useful feature, and like most of the features that have gone before, it can be accurately moderated via a control panel. You can duplicate, you can mirror, and if mass production is your thing, you can batch certain actions and features to apply automatically on imported objects. The magic button shows the fun side of Lychee, and they're not claiming it's perfect. But personally, I suspect that one day soon, this will be the only button that you need. With your orientation sorted, adding supports is a breeze. And Leechy can also automatically do this for you. And I know lots of people that do nothing but this. But whilst it's good, it's not always perfect. And manually adding supports is a better way to go. I believe Leechy were the first free slicer to offer island detection and it's such a critical feature that many other slicers have since followed along. With that done, you can add supports as you feel fit, even using trees and mini supports. Obviously, you have a choice of support thickness, and you can also alter these if you wish. You can even override preset sizes with your preferred options. You can add as many supports as you like. You can remove them. And to a reasonable extent, you can move them. If some supports are in your way, you can select and hide them. Or you can opt to see just certain parts of the support, like the tips or the contact point. There's a choice of raft type, and again, these are adjustable. 
If your model is on the large size or you fancy saving a little resin, hollowing the model is very simple, as is cutting holes to allow for air and resin flow. And when you feel your preparation is finished, you can export your work as an OBJ or STL file, save the whole scene for sharing with a buddy or using on another occasion, or crack on with actual slicing, which is what it's really all about. You can preview the slicing process using these options on the left, including the famous banana for scale scene. You'll also need to select or insert a resin profile, and if you don't have one, Leechy has a community library where friendly folk share their settings to get you started. The diligent amongst you have already spotted this error message here, which again is Leechy looking after us and pointing out what a rubbish job I've done of supporting this model. But it is just a demo. Anti-aliasing is a critical tool and easy to use here. And finally, when you do export, you hit the only drawback of the free edition. You have to watch an ad. But the guys at Leechy have got to eat as well, so don't begrudge them for getting paid for all the wonderful work that they do. Believe me, there are other things that I haven't covered, but for the price of an ad, it should be clear that this is a very capable free slicer. And there's very few differences between the free and the pro, so there's no need to upgrade, right? Well, I have, but I do a fair bit of printing, and frankly, for the cost of, what, one cup of coffee per month, I get a lot more features, and they just keep coming. Let's go back to layout. Using this basic cylinder for a moment, these tools are now active. The planar cut allows me to take an existing solid object and effectively slice it into pieces. Not only that, I can then merge these pieces into one solid object again. Now this is a very useful feature, especially when you have an unusually shaped object that's difficult to support. There are a lot more support options, including the ability to add custom presets, as well as override Leechy standard settings, plus many more things that you can do to perfect the shape of each support. Probably the thing that I use most is the advanced manual support editing. You can really move the supports around here, minimizing the number of supports you need, creating tree shapes, and even reducing resin use. Support painting is a fantastic way to lay down lots of supports very quickly. And of course, you can control the sizing and intervals. You can also paint a tree using Alt and Shift. Adding supports along the edges can be boring, but by selecting the interval that you want, selecting a few guiding supports, and then clicking Generate, these supports appear like magic. Alternatively, hold down the Shift key and Leechy will follow along. And it's not just straight lines. A crazily fast method is projection support. You can simply select an area, choose your setting, and let Leechy blast a field of supports into life. As your model becomes increasingly complex, the supports can start to get in the way. The Pro version allows you to select and tag certain supports, naming them for easy selection at any time. Rafts are much the same, but you have a wider range to choose from. Bigger models typically need hollowing, and Leechy keeps updating this feature too, allowing for increasingly faster and more accurate hollowing that enables manual supporting. But hollowing can lead to problems. This object is designed to print flat against the build plate, and if hollowed, when printed, it will almost certainly fail due to suction forces, which is the main cause of failures with hollowed prints. For this reason, Leechy have incorporated the Suction Cup tool, which, as you can see, identifies a massive suction area with this model. Think of a plunger on a flat surface. It's very hard to remove that plunger without allowing air to flow, and for that we need holes. This model has a slot included in the base for this very reason, and if I add a hole here and recalculate the Suction Cup forces, we can see they've dramatically improved, and this print would likely succeed. But I think I can add another hole here and try again. 
Yep, that's done it. But sometimes you can get multiple pockets of suction cups, as we see here. Sure enough, a couple of holes can dramatically reduce the bulk of the problem, but you can't add holes everywhere. And sometimes, like here on the shoulder, these hollow areas are so small, the saving in resin isn't worth the problems caused by the suction forces. So Leechy have developed a blocking feature. Basic shapes can be easily positioned and scaled to cover the problem area. And recalculating shows that these areas will now print as solid. There are no ads when slicing with the Pro version. And you can also export fully hollowed and holed objects as STL or OBJ files. Previewing the slicer is much the same except for one amazing difference. It's so easy to lose track of scale when zooming in and out. So Leechy actually allow you to calibrate your own screen so that when you view objects, you see them as actual size. And honestly, I could go on. I haven't even touched the FDM side of this slicer because resin printing is more my thing. But trust me, there are far more features than I've included here. Yes, I'm being paid to make this video, but remember, I've been using the Pro version for three years because I believe the benefits far exceed the costs. But I assure you, my advice is don't believe me or any other YouTuber. Instead, maintain a healthy degree of skepticism and try the Pro version for yourself. You can do this for 30 days completely free and that's what I would recommend. Play with it, see if it improves your workflow and then decide if you think it's worth the cost of one cup of coffee each month. For me, the advanced support tool alone is worth that money. Add to that the reduced resin consumption and increased printing success rate achieved with hollowing and suction cups, and you've got to be at cappuccino value right there. Then throw in the massive time savings achieved by the projection, inline and painting support features and that's got to be snooty barista with generous tip territory. Personally, I'm relieved that Pro is just plain old cup of coffee value, because as hobbies go, this is a relatively small cost, which leaves me more money to spend on paints and resins. But as I say, don't believe me, try it for yourself. So, I used to love lychee. What's changed? It's got even better. So I still do. And one final word from Leechy. Coinciding with the release of this video, Leechy is launching a Black Friday promotion. Using the discount code BLACKFRIDAY20 will give you 20% off a resin or filament slicer bundle, a pack of 3D models worth over $200, and one month free subscription to SDL Flix Miniatures with access to over 300 models. So follow the link in the description and check out this amazing offer. And that's it for this video, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. Take care and thanks for watching.